Hey, what's going on guys? Jamie Toscani here, creator of Leaders of Fire, coming to you this month with an article on persistence. So let me tell you my story about how one drop of water changed my whole outlook on how to own your own success by persistence. A couple of weeks ago, we had this really big thunderstorm in Chattanooga, Tennessee. After taking a hot shower, I was just ready to call it a day. You see, I don't mind thunderstorms at night, and I can usually sleep through them. I've stayed in places where loud trains have come through. I've slept through that. I find the sound of rain very calming. I consider myself a pretty average to deep sleeper, and usually the sound of water or rain doesn't bother me. I can even get used to the sound of a waterfall after a while. You can be in bed almost asleep. You could have worked at a factory mill all day listening to loud machines. You could have worked at an airport listening to jet engines, and yet, when you lie in bed at night, just before sweet sleep takes over. A single drop of water from a leaky faucet can interrupt your focus and concentration and even consume you. That's exactly what happened to me that night. If you can imagine with me, I had already shut my eyes and slowed down my breathing. I don't think I've ever felt so relaxed. I even rolled my feet around the sheets and had it in the perfect place between the covers and my arm is finally in the perfect position back around my head. Sleep was inevitable. I yawned for the last time and my thoughts drifted in the dark. I even tuned out the raining storm and then all of a sudden, I hear that sound. Drip, drip, drip. I thought to myself, look, I'm already in the warm bed, comfortable, the pillows have never been softer. This is the best position I'm ever gonna be in. I'm not getting up for that sound. I'm bigger than that. I can ignore that sound. So I turned over, I sandwiched my head between the pillows, but I still hear that drip, drip. I think to myself, you know what, it's gonna drip all night. It's probably gonna amount to no more than one gallon of water while I sleep for seven or eight hours. Big deal, right? One gallon, it can't be more than 30, 40, 50 cents, worst case scenario. I mean, I probably got enough change under my seat to cover that, so why can't I just Tune it out. Drip. 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 So I grab my pillow. I start pounding it and I pound away because although the faucet is almost 20 feet away, it seems like 20 miles when you're in bed ready to go to sleep. I pounded some more. I turn, pulling the covers over my head. But again, I still hear that sound. Finally, in dramatic fashion, I let out this, Ugh! I can't believe this. I'm a leader, I've got self-control. I mean, it's only a drop of water. I can't believe I'm gonna let this beat me. The struggle is real, guys. That's it. I grab the covers in slow motion. I rip them off my bed. I fling the pillow behind me and I storm towards the bathroom. I fling on the light. There it is. Drip, drip, drip. And with great feeling and unction, I grab a hold of that knob and I wrench it and tighten it with strength like I can't even describe. I turn it as hard as I can and finally watch as the last drip gets sucked back up the faucet and it stays. Finally, the tear of sweat going down my face, my heart racing. Possibly I can get some rest. I go back defeated. I pull back the covers, I plop into bed. But what I didn't realize was that one drop of water disturbed my whole night and thought process. That one drop of water has done more to me than all the 700,000 gallons per second that falls over Niagara Falls. Inside that one drop of water contained the power to totally consume me and beg me to put all my focus on it until it's been dealt with. But it's that kind of incessant drip, drip, Drip persistent tenacity that's going to get you noticed and move and push you to that next level. Now let me tie all this together in leadership style. Many of us don't realize the power of incessant persistence. If you've gone after that goal or promotion, you haven't seen any movement yet, don't give up from an unreturned call or from a rejection letter. The position may very well have gone to another more qualified candidate in the area or a different skill set, but there's still plenty of opportunity within your own companies. Are you willing to deal with rejection? Are you willing to test your skill of patience? 
Are you willing to bounce right back and continue each day with the same tenacious attitude, grabbing life by the horns and motivate yourself and your staff to set the tone for the day? Despite things not moving fast enough for you, be persistent in going after more, taking on more responsibility, and who knows, the kind of job that you were looking for may have required that persistence. And if you quit after one or two rejections, then guess what? You prove not to be the right fit after all. If you continually need the approval of others to convince yourself that you're ready for something, then the next role won't sustain you when you get there and no one's there to keep reaffirming you. Sometimes you've got to activate the you within and trust in your own abilities and your calling. You've got to know what you were called to do and work in your calling daily. That way no one can convince you differently, causing you to give up and quit on yourself. And the beautiful thing about this 24-hour period that we call a day is we get plenty of chances to start over and perfect our craft until we get it right. So shrug off negativity. Learn from feedback every day. And before too long, your own continual sound of your craft is going to resonate that drip, drip, drip that will lead others to come to you and acknowledge that you are a force to reckon with. Companies are out there, and they have their ears fixated on that incessant sound that you're making. So don't hide it. This is Jamie Toscani from Leaders of Fire. I'll be listening for you.